Little Red Dragon is a preschool with an exemplary education model. Not only do they value frequently practicing the concept of learning through play, they are one of the only multilingual preschools in Southern Africa, and the teachers and children speak Afrikaans, English, and Isiklosa in the classroom environment. Preschool level is when a child is at their prime age for acquiring new languages and developing emotional intelligence. Through play and speaking another child's mother tongue language helps a child create healthy relationships with other children. This was Little Red Dragon's sole intention when they implemented the model and it has been a booming success, creating confidence and happy children at school who are willing and excited to learn. In South Africa, we have an education crisis. Many of our problems stem from the lack of foundation at a young age that prepares a child emotionally and mentally for learning. The education system in South Africa is not compulsory for children until the age of seven years old. Many children are introduced into grade one and are overwhelmed and do not have a grasp on the language of instruction, and this affects the child academically as they lose confidence in themselves. In a country with 11 official languages, we really should stop to ask ourselves, why aren't all preschools multilingual? Multilingualism also means a classroom with multiculturalism. As a nation, we are trying to create a diverse South Africa. Understanding one another's languages would be a good start, but it is pertinent for multilingual learning to be implemented at a young age, before grade one, at about the age of five, which is the best age for language acquisition. What is very important to me is that our children must be able to speak any languages. They must be able to communicate with anyone, anyway. And uh, it is very important for me to know that our children, they can be able, through play, they can be able to grasp any vocabulary so that they can communicate well. Learning through play is a term used in education and psychology to describe how a child can learn to make sense of the world around them. Through play, children can develop social and cognitive skills. The child is given creative license to bend or invent reality. Play is not wasted time, but rather time spent building new knowledge from previous experiences. Children from different backgrounds, playing together and sharing their experiences, allows them from a young age to build empathy and understanding of children that are different from themselves. Play also contributes to brain development. Evidence from neuroscience shows that the early years of a child's development, from birth to age six, sets the basis for learning, behavior, and health throughout life. A child's neural pathways are influenced in their development through the exploration, thinking, problem solving, and through expressing their feelings, thoughts, and ideas during play episodes. As journalists, we feel a concept as simple as play in education could be a step in the right direction towards a solution to this crisis. Feeder schools that take in students from Little Red Dragon, such as St. Mary's in Grahamstown, had many positive things to say about the effect of the model on children coming into grade one. So it's good to send your child to a school like that, where the child can learn from a very young age, not only the year before they enter grade one. Because it's quite a lot to take in for little children in such a short space of time. Oh, we, have, uh, we ran a workshop last year. This year, actually, a whole partnerships program, and it's a word works on partnership program. And we actually tell the parents they should do the like the phonics and the things to it as a lot the language of learning and teaching at school, but don't exclude the mother tongue. Mm -hmm. The mother tongue is just important as the lot. They build good relationships mm -hmm. with each other from other children that come from other schools. And they are even helpful to help mm -hmm. those that don't understand. Mm -hmm. They will translate if it's necessary and they will explain mm -hmm. what the teacher told them to do if they don't understand. 